Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to disable the most recently used fonts in Microsoft Word. So as you're using Word, you probably notice when you pick a font, you'll have recently used, and then you, you know, pick a new font here. And then a, another font. And then it starts building up this list here. And then even if you close an open Word, You still have this recently used fonts here. So if you don't want to see this, you know, because it could get kind of long if you're always changing your fonts, you could actually do a little uh, registry hack to disable it. So that's what we're going to do today. So first thing you need to do, uh, click on start to search for reg edit. And then you could open that. And then what you want to do, got a little cheat sheet here. You want to browse to this location here. Easiest way is just to copy and paste this from the description. Press enter, it'll take you right there. Okay, so then you want to make a new key under Microsoft called Office. So right click, new key, Office. And then under the Office, you want to make a new key for 16.0, assuming you're using, you know, Office 2016 or 2019, they should both be 16.0. And if you don't know for sure, you could go to uh, Programs and Features and Control Panel. And then find your office software and scroll to the right and that'll tell you the version right there so this is 16.0 not sure why 16 and 2016 and 2019 are both version 16 but that seems to be the case so you should be okay okay so we got that 16.0 now under that 16.0 another key named word so this there's a lot of steps to this and under that key we want to make a another key called options Okay, so now we got that. So now your path should look like this if everything is right. Okay, now from here we want to do a new string value, not D word. We're used to making D word values on these registry edits, so make sure you pick string value, not D word. And you can paste that in there, double click it, change it, or add the value of one. And now from here, Make sure Office is closed, or Word is closed. I guess we have probably everything in Office. And then you want to, you could restart the computer, or you should be able to restart Windows Explorer to have these changes take effect. So for Windows 11, you could right-click on the Start button and do uh, Task Manager. Windows 10, you could right-click on the uh, Taskbar for Task Manager. And then you want to scroll down and find Windows Explorer. Either one of them, if you have more than one. And then Restart. Sometimes you got to do it twice there. You'll see when your icons disappear, you know it's working there. Okay, so let's open Word again. Print some text. And you can see there's no recent font, so let's change it a couple, to a couple different ones here. And now you can see the recently font is no longer there. So, one thing to note on this, which I've noticed, you would think to reverse this, you could just delete the uh, keys that you made, but I did that, and it seemed to, uh, it didn't seem to revert it. So, what you would do is leave it as is, and just come in here and, and just change this to zero, or delete it, or, you know, or empty, and then restart, a, let's try this actually, if it, let's make it empty there, or we'll restart task manager, let me close Word. Should we start Windows Explorer, not Task Manager? Go back to Task Manager. See, now we have the recently used fonts. So, if you like, I said, if you do decide to use this. And you change your mind, just change this from uh, one to blank rather than delete all this stuff because when I did it and I deleted everything, it didn't bring back my recently used font, so I had to recreate all this stuff and then just make this blank instead of one. All right, so hopefully that made sense. So I'll put all this in the description, and then you could uh, 
do this yourself, and then you'll get rid of your uh, recently used fonts in Word. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.